Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, David Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Ride A6 Binding. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin on an overcast gray sky day with pockets of blue skies. It was after a storm, so there was pockets of up to a foot of fresh snow. There was lumpy, choppy chunder, like heavy older pow, perfect corduroy crusty corduroy, and I rode it on my Telus Mike Rankwit snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. This binding keeps it real simple with its adjustability. You got flip cams on the toe and the heel strap so you can lengthen or shorten that. The toe ramp has a little bit of movement. The heel cup is adjustable so you can slide it in or pull it out. The high back is able to be rotated if you need it more parallel across your heel edge, and then you have your forward lean adjustment. Nothing mind blowing over here. Very simple stuff, easy to work with. All right, so when it comes to the straps, you got a two-piece design on the heel strap. It's a little softer on the underside with a little bit of harder plastic through the middle. This is gonna allow you to be soft and forgiving where you want it, but when you really drive into the instep and just through that bend of it, you get a little more pressure. The toe strap has a larger cutout. It's gonna fit most boot shapes relatively well. If you have a really boxy boot shape, may have some issues with it going over the top of that toe. Otherwise, they do their job, they do their job well. When Ride redesigned their binding line, they redesigned their ratchets. These work exceptionally well. The one finger quick release is super solid. You never have to worry about that sticking. They climb well, they stay locked, they do their job. What more could you ask for? With the high back, it's naturally soft just by design. It is stiffer through the center, which is kind of what you want when you're driving into it. Overall, the shaping of it really does cradle the back spine of your boot. There is a little bit of natural forward lean when you do have it on zero, so you are gonna feel that pushing into your boot if your boot does not have any natural forward lean. Otherwise, the high back does its job. It does what you need it to do. The forward lean adjustment, flip it down, slide it up, slide it down, works exactly as you would want. The overall flex of this binding comes in just below a middle of the road. With it being an aluminum frame, you do get more rigidity underfoot. You're gonna notice that the pad does a great job of dampening. I think the big thing that we need to talk about though is how minimal the actual shaping of the chassis is. So you do get a lot of lateral roll in this binding, which is great. It gives you more lateral play instead of lateral drive. So if you're one of those guys that likes to jib and butter, you can get your weight on the outside of the binding relatively easy. The overall ride of this binding is a little more surfy. With the shaping of the chassis and it being aluminum, you would think that it would be more dead underfoot, but actually the composite one has a bigger dead spot. So this gives you, as I've already said, more lateral roll in there. It's a damp binding. You will notice that from the pad, but it's not so damp that you're like, oh my God, I can't feel anything underfoot. It still retains some of its liveliness. Who's this binding for? The All Mountain Rider on a budget. So for the price and what you get out of this binding in terms of adjustability and performance, it's absolutely perfect. It's not a bad binding. I actually felt it was really solid. The only downside was the amount of canting in the footbed. I'm not a canting guy. I felt that it was overkill. If this had zero canting in it, I would be absolutely happy. I've never been an aluminum chassis type of guy, but lately the ride bindings have really just risen above from what they used to be and they ride so much better that I'm really enjoying how they actually perform on a snowboard. Comparable bindings, the Burton Mission, the Union STR, the K2 Indy. This has been my review of the Ride A6. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you going to buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could be... Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.